It was the last day of our family vacation, and we were driving home from our hotel, when we soon decided to stop at a second-hand shop for a lunch break. Mum told us to go into the second-hand shop to see if anything interests us, while she went to get some subway for us. Sony, my brother and my dad, went into the second-hand shop, I made a beeline to the DVD section, they were many different kinds of titles to choose from, Power Rangers, Thunderbirds, Chris Lilly, Anime, Aquabats, Danger 5, Danger Rangers, etc. I selected 7 DVDs of Power Rangers, Thunderbirds, Chris Lilly, Digimon Frontier, Aquabats, Danger 5 and Danger Rangers, when a certain DVD caught my eye. It was a Teletubbies DVD, one that I haven't seen before, so it must have been rare. I took the DVD off the shelf and carefully examined it. The title of the DVD was, Teletubbies, Blackberry Picking and Other Stories. I thought that this could be my first rare DVD, so I went to show it to my dad, along with the seven other DVDs I chose. My dad looked at the Teletubbies DVD with a weird look on his face. Aren't you a little old to be watching that? He asked. I know, but this is my first rare DVD. I replied. My dad looked at me funny but then decided to get me the DVD, along with the other seven DVDs. Once we got back in the car, Mom offered us with four Subway sandwiches. She and Dad had Caesar salad sandwiches, my brother had a ham and cheese sandwich and I had a meatball sandwich. When we got home, my parents had to go out for a moment, and my brother went to play Minecraft. I went into my room to watch the new DVDs that I got. I decided to start with the Teletubbies DVD and work my way down from there. Before I watched it though, I took a look at the episode list on the back cover. The episodes were, Blackberry Picking, Ballet Rhymes, Jack in the Box, Rebecca's Dogs, Basketball, and a strange episode titled, Rebirth. Rebirth? I asked myself, I didn't know what to expect with an episode title like that, but I was about to. I inserted the disc into the DVD player. The DVD began as usual, with the regular warning screen, ABC DVD logo and ABC for Kids logo. You know, like any other ABC for Kids DVD, it then took me to the DVD menu. What I saw was something I hadn't seen before, Tinky Winky was standing next to a blue background, where a strange light show seemed to be going on. Next to him was the menu selection, play all, select an episode, web link, and subtitles, above them, was the Teletubbies logo. I looked at the menu, and thought. Meh, I've seen worse menus. I pressed play all and began watching all four episodes, but when it got to the fifth episode, that was when it got really messed up. The opening played out as normal, but when the voice trumpet appeared after the Teletubbies ran away, it said. Sassera, the sacrifice shall commence. I was shocked, and confused, holding onto my cream rabbit plush that I got during my weekend trip with my family. Soon, the first segment started. It featured Tinky Winky carrying what appears to be long sticks and coal. He dropped them onto the ground and turned to the camera. Uh oh! He said to the narrator. One day, in Teletubby Land, Tinky Winky was preparing for a special event. The narrator said. I looked at the screen, puzzled at what's going on. A special event! Tinky Winky said. He soon got to work, he put the coal into the shape of a star and placed the long sticks into a circle, surrounding the coal star. Suddenly, the windmill began spinning, Tinky Winky got up from his work and said, uh oh in his happy tone and ran away from the completed structure. I looked at the structure with a puzzled and concerned look on my face. The Teletubbies gathered for a TV event. Then, Dipsy was chosen for the TV event. Usually, the TV event would show children, but this TV event was much different. Instead of children, it has tribal men. They have gathered in a strange jungle to show the Teletubbies the process of rebirth. As the rebirth ceremony began, four of the tribal men, who were carrying some kind of rotten corpse, placed the corpse onto their own coal star which was surrounded by their own long sticks. An inmate of the tribal men is then dragged in, with his hand forcibly pulled out. The high priest, the one running the ceremony, took a huge curved knife from his weapon sack, and used it to cut open the inmate's hand, shocking both me and the inmate as he screamed in pain. The blood from the inmate's hand soon drips onto the coal star, it soon started to glow blue, covering the corpse in blue as well. Let the rebirth begin! The high priest shouted. Just then, the TV started to go berserk, as if something happened to it. 
I tried getting the TV to make the picture come back, and when it did, I saw the high priest and the tribal men waving goodbye to the Teletubbies. As I watched them say goodbye, a little bar of text scrolled in. We apologize for the delay on your viewing, we seem to be facing some technical difficulties. Please keep calm as we work out this issue. I was confused and even more shocked. The TV event then played for a second time, but I didn't stay long. I made a beeline to my parents' room, and took a dictionary out of their bookshelf. I then began to look up the word, Sasera. After so much looking, I found the word that I was looking for. Sasera, a Sanskrit Pali word which tribes use as the definition for rebirth. I couldn't believe what I just read, I put the dictionary back in the bookshelf and raced back to my room. When I got there, I saw Tinky Winky standing next to the structure he was building in the first half. One day, in Teletubby land, Tinky Winky was waiting for La La and Dipsy, they were bringing Poe for the special event. The narrator said. After he said that sentence, La La and Dipsy came, dragging Poe with them as she was trying to break out their grip. When the three of them reached Tinky Winky, he got out a huge curved knife, the same one that the High Priest had in the TV event, and sliced open Poe's hand which was forced out by Lala. Poe screamed in pain, but not in the typical cartoony style, she was screaming realistically, the same way the inmate did in the TV event. As I looked at the structure that Tinky Winky made, I saw a rotten corpse, but one that I haven't seen before. This corpse wasn't a human, it was a teletubby. What the actual mess is going on? I asked myself, totally freaked out. Soon, Poe's blood started to drip from her hand and onto the coal star, it started to glow blue, covering the corpse in blue as well. Rebirth can begin! Tinky Winky shouted as the blue coal star started to shine even brighter. I covered my eyes in shock, as I could only hear noises that were coming from the screen, of screaming, bright flashes and someone saying, Samzara, in a repetitive kind of tone. After the noise was over, I uncovered my eyes, and I saw the tubby bye bye scene playing as usual. I sighed in relief, thinking that the nightmare was over. But instead of the usual ending theme, tribal drum music started to play throughout the entire scene, and I saw the now rebirthed corpse of the Teletubby, replacing Poe, as I assumed that she might be dead. Once it showed the Ragnall and BBC logos after the credits play, the colors were inverted to blue, gray and black. The Ragnall logo also had light blue eyes instead of black. The ABC DVD logo then appeared, but its colors were inverted too. And behind it, I saw what appeared to be two blue glowing eyes staring back at me. The ABC for Kids logo then appeared, it had inverted colors as well, but instead of a bee flying as always, it was a strange looking blue thing, glowing with deep fusion, whatever that meant. It took me back to the DVD menu, and at the same time, my parents came home. I ran to them and told them about the rebirth episode on the DVD. I showed them the footage, and they believed me. The only footage I can show you are these photos that I managed to capture before my mom burnt the DVD. I couldn't sleep for a long time, I still kept thinking about that haunting episode. It was something that would remain in the back of my mind, forever.